It's heartbreaking to know that there are thousands of children and young teens who flee their homeland, often alone, to escape lives filled with violence, abuse, and pain. They come from Central and South America, Eastern Europe, Africa, and other parts of the world and make their way seeking refuge to the only beam of hope they know, our country. Without family support or money, many times these youngsters find themselves thrown into our complex immigration system, unable to afford or even find an attorney. That's when this year's 2012 NCLR Public Service Award recipient, Kids in Need of Defense, or KIND, steps into action. KIND has created a tremendous network of dedicated lawyers who are a lifeline for these unaccompanied kids. These attorneys guide the youngsters through the legal system, offering advice and representing them in court proceedings. And perhaps even more importantly, they offer much needed reassurance to a child that someone really cares. Let's take a look at more about KIND. KIND was founded in 2008 by the Microsoft Corporation and Angelina Jolie to address a very critical legal services gap. Each year, about 8,000 children arrive in the United States alone, and they're put into deportation or removal proceedings, but they're not afforded legal counsel in that process. This means that children as young as two years old are put through a very complicated court process without a lawyer to help them. These young boys and girls oftentimes would find themselves in administrative court, immigration court, facing deportation proceedings uh, where they were literally confronted by a government prosecuting attorney while representing themselves. And many of these children didn't even speak English. KIND is currently working with almost 3,500 children who represent about 60 nationalities. These kids come from every corner of the globe. Uh, the majority of the kids that we work with, however, are from Central America. About 80% of our kids are Central American. Our goal is to have 100% of these unaccompanied children represented by pro bono counsel, and we're uh, making good progress in trying to achieve that goal. Um, but we're also trying to increase uh, awareness about the problem. Last year, KIND sponsored an advocacy day up on the hill where many pro bono lawyers, including myself, went up on the hill and visited representatives and senators to advocate for changes in the immigration law that would address the situation we're trying to deal with. KIND is working nationwide. We have offices in Los Angeles, Houston, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Newark, New York, and Boston. And we plan to grow even further in order to ensure that no child ever appears in immigration court alone. KIND is wonderful at getting this message out, providing the training so that people can translate this desire to help into, into an ability to help. Imagine you're a kid all by yourself, without family, without help, in this vast country. Now imagine you have to deal with the immigration system, a complicated and confusing process even to those who have resources. You don't have to imagine. It is happening every day to thousands of children from all over the world. And thankfully, KIND is their lifeline, providing with legal help, a guiding hand, or just the simple reassurance that someone cares about them. One day, I'm going to be living independently without my own anything, and I will be, become successful. His behavior is being changed a lot. He's been getting better. He's doing good. He's doing great. And I hope he's continue the same thing because that's in his future. The United States really provides opportunities to these children that they'll never be able to get in their home country. Some of these children, for example, have never been to school until they reach the United States. And the opportunity for education, for living in a safe home environment, it's the start of a new life for these children. So I want to thank KIND staff, your executive director, Wendy Young, and all of the legal advocates across the country funded by KIND who are providing life-saving, vital legal assistance to children who now have a fighting chance. Congratulations.
and keep up the fight for justice. Accepting the award on behalf of KIND is Executive Director Wendy Young and KIND's Board of Directors Co-Chair Brad Smith. Please welcome to the stage Brad Smith. Well, thank you. Thank you, Janet. Thanks to all of you. Thanks on behalf of the Board of KIND. Thank you on behalf of all of the lawyers and volunteers at KIND, and most importantly, Thank you on behalf of the kids of KIND who are the reason that we exist. By day, I get to serve as the general counsel at Microsoft. And in the evening, and on the weekend, and at lots of other times in between, I get to serve as the co-chair of the board of this wonderful organization that, as you heard, we and many other people created over the last few years. It's a real honor, and indeed, to be honest, it's quite humbling to share the stage not only with Elvis Presley, but with NCLR. Because while NCLR may be a young organization, it has been doing great things for over 40 years, and KIND was incorporated less than four years ago. But in many respects, we spring from common roots and we advance a common cause because we're both focused on people who sometimes are in need, but people who always have such great potential. This is something that a number of us at Microsoft first had the opportunity to see in the Seattle area several years ago. We got involved in pro bono immigration work because we, as a company, are in many respects a company of immigrants just like we as a country in many respects are a country of immigrants. Over a third of Microsoft's employees have come to the United States from other countries. Indeed, they have come from 149 other countries. And so we took on this cause and partnered with others to represent people in Washington State. It was in the summer of 2006 that the group that we were working with was honored because at that point, Washington State was the only state in the country in which every child who was separated from a family nonetheless was represented by a lawyer when going through an immigration proceeding. I remember upon learning that asking a very simple question, how many of these kids are there across the country? And the answer was amazing. No one knew. No one knew how many kids there were. So then in 2007, we sponsored work to find out. And as you heard our great executive director say, the answer is there's about 8,000 kids every year who get separated from their families, perhaps before they get to the border, perhaps at the border, perhaps afterwards, but they end up in this country alone, going through an immigration proceeding. And so we built a business model and in 2008, we sat down with Angelina Jolie, who had done so much work to advance the needs and interests of refugees around the world. And we said, let's do something together. Let's work until we reach the point and the day when every child who is separated from their family at least gets the benefit of the help of a lawyer when they are defending themselves before an immigration judge. <clears throat> It was in 2009 that we founded and kicked off and incorporated KIND, and the response has been amazing. It has been far greater than we could have ever imagined. We now have almost 4,000 lawyers volunteering their time, coming from over 125 different law firms and companies from coast to coast across the country. 
And what we find is that the work is amazing because these are kids who have stories that deserve to be heard. They are stories that need to be told. And yet what we find is that their voices will too often be silenced unless they are represented by a lawyer. And in getting involved, the lawyers who volunteered their time have not only provided a voice to these children, in many cases, they have transformed a life. And in some cases, they have saved a life. One of the most rewarding things for somebody who represents a Bill Gates or a Steve Ballmer during the day is to meet our other clients, these kids. These are amazing human beings. They are testaments to the resilience of the human spirit. They are as young as two. They're often teenagers. They come from so many places. But for me, they'll always be encapsulated in one young girl I had the opportunity to meet in Los Angeles a couple of years ago. Her name is Norma. She was 17 at the time, and she had left Honduras. She had left a life of unspeakable violence, and yet she had encountered even a worse and more violent situation as she got to Mexico, and she neared the U.S. border. But she made it across, and she now had a lawyer. And as I listened to Norma's story and we talked about her case, I finally summoned the courage, if you will, to ask her the question that was on my mind throughout the conversation. How did you ever decide to leave Honduras in the first place and make it and go and head all the way to the United States? She paused, she laughed, she smiled, and then she said, well, to tell you the truth, when I left, I had no idea the United States was so far away. I think Norma is like a lot of people. She's like a lot of people when they first come into contact with the legal system. They don't know what to expect. How could they? It's not something that people are familiar with until they have to meet it head on. But more than that, as I've thought about that conversation over the last couple of years, I've concluded this. Norma is a lot like each of us. We don't know what twists and turns lie in the road ahead. But we do know this. We know where we want to go. We know the future we want to create. And we know that with good friends and great partners like everyone in this room, we will not rest until we get there. Thank you very much.